running my first Baylor run was very exciting for me. I was super excited and running it, I had the most amount of fun that I've ever had at a football game. Except I didn't know what would happen in the next few hours just because of how hot it was. They started passing out slips of paper uh, for free water bottles that you could get at the concession stand, and I was like, oh, that's really nice. I'm going to find out that there were multiple people who fainted and passed out due to the lack of water in their system. I didn't know this then, but I had found out later on when trying to buy water or food that the only places you could really get water at were the concession stand, which was either bottled water or you could get a cup of ice, which is like $3, which is the same amount of money as a soda. They also did have bar stations that was from a hose and they didn't have cups for you so you had to find a container for your water which I know that you can bring a clear water bottle to games however it has to be empty and a lot of people don't know that their first game and that's when the hotter games are so they will end up having a lack of water and some people don't bring money to the games or they don't bring their card which the system is cashless there needs to be a way for water to be accessible in this public space and so that there isn't issues with dehydration because it is a serious issue. Cleveland Clinic writes in their article Dehydration how the body is affected by the lack of water. Mild symptoms may be headaches, fatigue, and dizziness and this can lead to faintness and passing out but however, if it gets severe, that it can lead to hospitalization, which leads to urinary and kidney issues. In order to solve this issue, there should be more refillable water stations in public. Clean water should be accessible everywhere and to anyone. It shouldn't be like, oh, you have to go to school here, you have to work here, you have to have access to this part of the area, and then it's free. It should be in all public spaces, such as public transportation hubs, uh, metro stations, uh, bus stations, and it also should be in like shopping centers so that if people do get thirsty during their time, they can go. It isn't just about, oh, the poor needs it, the rich needs it, everyone needs it. If something were to happen to someone's pipes in their house, they need to go somewhere that should be, that should allow them to go to clean and accessible water. And these refillable water stations would be able to allow people to do this. As well as water itself and the system that we have created for it is expensive to some people. I'm not saying that people don't buy water bottles or they just go without it. However, one water bottle on average in Walmart is about $1.60, which isn't expensive, but if you keep adding that up, it can get expensive to some people. And they're not paying for water itself, they're paying for the creation of the water bottle. And according to Flow Water in the article, The Real Cost of Bottled Water, packaging costs about $1.25 on average for a water bottle, and the actual water within that container is one hundredth of a cent. The cost of water is so insignificant, but people are paying so much just for the creation of plastic. And with these refillable water stations, people don't have to buy a water bottle every single time they need water. They can reuse a water bottle that they already had bought previously, or they can have a refillable water like a hydro flask and use that, which can hold more water than an average um, water bottle, and they can also it's also easy to carry. With this refillable water bottle, this can cut down the making of plastic water bottles and can co uh, reduce how much pollution is within the environment and trash that's in the water. The more that we use plastic, the more plastic that gets into the environment, even if we recycle, not everyone recycles, not everyone puts their containers in the trash, and that's how things lead to trash in the environment, and that's what makes things dirty and ruins our, ruins our ecosystems. And I know people might be thinking, well, 
it's going to cost a lot of money to put these refillable water stations in places that are public and you're going to need a lot to cater to the whole country. Well, about on average, a water system before putting it in costs about like $3,000 and that's on average. It's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. And it's only like a one time put in uh, to put in the refillable water stations, it would just cost money in case if anything were to happen to the station and it needs to be replaced or fixed. And so the water itself does not cost a lot, so you wouldn't be paying a lot for the water. And if you wanted to not make the water free, you could at least charge like 25 cents and it would still be better than a water bottle. Or we could have taxed the public and made it accessible to everyone. Though I know that is controversial because some people do not want to pay taxes. So an easy way would just be able to make the refillable water stations um, like a couple cents in order to refill a certain amount of water. It also, with, with maintaining the stations, you could create more jobs for the environment and have a new job circling and filtering the economy which would be beneficial to a lot of people in, that are looking for jobs in this economy. Refillable water stations should be a human right and a human necessity that is free just like oxygen is. It should be able to be accessed by anyone in any, at any time and place, even if it's an emergency because their water got cut off or their water is contaminated, or if they're thirsty and sick and they just need clean water. It shouldn't just be a thing that is mocked to everyone and themselves.